This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Israel's intensifying its aerial bombardment and ground invasion of Gaza. Palestinian officials say the death toll has topped 8,300, including over 3,400 children. On Friday, Israeli ground troops, backed by tanks and armored bulldozers, entered Gaza amidst a communication blackout that cut off contact, electricity and cellular service between Gaza and the rest of the world. Communications have now been partially restored. On Friday, the U.N. General Assembly overwhelmingly voted in support of a humanitarian truce, but Israel and the United States voted against the resolution. Massive demonstrations calling for a ceasefire in Gaza continued this weekend, including here in New York City. On Friday night, thousands of members of Jewish Voice for Peace New York City and their allies shut down the main terminal of Grand Central Station during rush hour. It's the largest sit-in protest the city has seen in over two decades. Many wore shirts that said, not in our name. Banners were unfurled reading, Palestinians should be free, and Israelis demand ceasefire now. One sign read, never again for anyone. The multiracial intergenerational movement says about 400 people were arrested, including rabbis, famous actors, and elected officials. Democracy Now! was there. Today, we bring you some of the voices at Grand Central, including Rosalind Pachesky, professor of political science at Hunter College. Jews, but we are here to protest the genocide that is happening in our name. It has to stop. We are crying every minute. When we listen to your show, we are crying. I have a dear friend, Mohammed, with his little family in Gaza. He almost got blown up today. We can't let this go on. We believe in justice and the right to live. Everyone. But Palestinians have been the victims of oppression for 75 years, and it has to stop. That's why we're here, to say not in our name. I am older than the state of Israel. There's Jewish prayers in the background. The sun is going down, and it's the Jewish Sabbath. It is. And on Shabbat, we have to pray.
Jewish pediatricians are calling for stopping the killing of children and their families, calling for a ceasefire now and not in our name. I've never been prouder to be a pediatrician than when back on Friday, October 13th, thoroughly mainstream organization, the New York State chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics, said that we stand with the children of Israel and the children of Gaza. We love all children, all families equally, and calling for an immediate ceasefire. So that was back on October 13th. Unfortunately, children and their families continue to be killed. These sorts of collective uh, actions, uh, collective responsibility is um, illegal. These sorts of mass killings of civilian should be leading to call for a ceasefire now. I've never been prouder of the 18 Congress uh, persons who have called for a ceasefire now, and I'm calling on President Biden and Senator Schumer and my assembly person, Nadler. Please, please, these are not Jewish values. It is not a Jewish value to be dropping bombs on children, killing children and their families. I am a State Senator Jabari Brisport, the 25th State Senate District in Brooklyn. And I'm here calling for a ceasefire in order to allow for the release of hostages and humanitarian aid. I carry the Not On Our Dime the legislation with the Senate Member Mamdani, which will uh, stop uh, New York from uh, allowing for fake charities that um, claim to be charities um, to help Israeli citizens, but actually fund displacement and destruction and settler violence um, in Palestinian territory. Are you planning to get arrested today? I got arrested a week ago. And I am I'm gonna let others uh, step up today. I got arrested a week ago at a sit-in outside Senator Gillibrand's office asking her to start calling for a ceasefire. My name is Zahran Mamdani. I'm an assembly member for parts of Astoria and Long Island City, and I'm here today to join thousands of Jewish New Yorkers, rabbis, and allies to say that the time is now for an immediate ceasefire. Are you willing to get arrested? I'm not going to be getting arrested today because I was arrested two weeks ago, and I was advised to not get arrested immediately after. What were you arrested for? I was arrested for civil disobedience, for disorderly conduct. I was arrested alongside Assembly Member Marcella Matanis in front of Senator Chuck Schumer's home, calling on him to support the demand for an immediate ceasefire. What does it mean to you that on this Shabbos, this Jewish Sabbath, thousands of Jews are here at Grand Central saying ceasefire now? It shows that what we have been told about the consent for this genocide is not true. So many of the Jewish New Yorkers here are struggling through heartbreak and mourning of October 7th, and they have made it very clear that do not use their heartbreak, their tragedy, as a justification for the genocide of Palestinians. In over two and a half weeks, we've already seen more than 7,000 Palestinians be killed, close to 3,000 Palestinian children, one Palestinian child killed every 15 minutes. These New Yorkers and so many across the state are saying the time is now for a ceasefire, and if you're not calling for it, you're supporting a genocide. Uh, Sandy Nurse, I'm a council member to the 37th District. And you represent what area of the city? Bushwick, Cypress Hills, Brownsville, East New York, City Line. And why are you here today? I'm here today to stand in solidarity with Jews, Muslims, allies, because we believe in a free Palestine. We believe in a Palestine without military occupation. We believe that we need to end this genocidal war. And we do not believe that our dollars, our tax dollars, should be used to bomb other children. We don't believe that unjustified murder of one set of children brings about murder for another set of children. We need to end this war and we need to move towards a peaceful solution. Are you a prudential member of the media? I'm going to ask you as a courtesy please to leave the steps. Um, they're playing an announcement that uh, people are obstructing the steps or they're in violation. Uh, they're going to they're going to start possibly making arrests. So if you're a, in, you're a prudential member of the media, I'm going to ask you for the same courtesy. If you please leave the area.
What's your name? I'm Fee. And Fee why Marie. are you getting arrested? I was born in a refugee camp in the Philippines. I'm I'm Vietnamese. I am a child of imperialism. So I I can't let I can't see it go on. I can't see it continue. Which side are you on? Which side? from the historic Jewish Voice for Peace protest on Friday that shut down Grand Central Station in New York City. Protesters were calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. About 400 people were arrested in what's believed to be the largest sit-in protest New York has seen in over two decades.